Hi. I am a Nintendo fanboy. Yes, you, if you're new here, I'm a Nintendo fanboy. I love Nintendo. I've loved Nintendo since I was a kid. NES, I actually have my NES right there. And I have every console released by Nintendo. You can see my room here. It's all Nintendo. So I am a Nintendo fanboy. And today I'm going to talk about or kind of review Steam Deck versus Nintendo Switch. So if you want to know what a true Nintendo fanboy thinks about the Steam Deck, then stay tuned. Subscribe because every single Friday, the new series, Nintendo Fanboy reviews the Steam Deck, not just because I'm a Nintendo Fanboy, because I actually own the Steam Deck. Let's start this video. Before I get too deep into this video, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, and that is E-Wing Racing. Now, I can tell you about E-Wing Racing and how this company produces the best, I mean, in my opinion, the best gaming chairs. I can sit here and tell you about the E-Wing Stain Resistant 2.0 PU Leather. Uh, it can be cleared repeatedly without surface damage by using a clean cloth. And I can sit here and tell you about the E-Wing Cold Cure Foam, which which is a prime interior and tie intensity foam that puts it high above any other foam engineered to be two times heavier and stronger than any other foam out there. Okay, I can tell you about the, the sideway adjustments, the rotation in and out, the height adjustments. I can tell you about the adjustable seats and every single feature that the E-Wing chair has. But I want to tell you about my personal experience as somebody who literally sits on a chair for hours. My day job is sitting on a chair for hours because I work from home. And I cannot tell you enough how this chair has really changed my working life for the better i have never sat on a more comfortable chair in my life i mean my back does not hurt my legs no longer fall asleep from constantly just sitting on a chair this is a chair that i highly recommend because of my personal use not just because they sponsor this video now if you want to take a look at their chairs i mean i mean amazing chairs you can visit the link in the description and guess what they have a sale going on, you know, due to the season. But on top of that, if you use code Odyssey, you get an extra 20% off your entire order on the E-Wing website down below in the description. And thank you, E-Wing Racing, for sponsoring this video. And not only this video, for sponsoring our channel. Let's start out with the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch launched in 2017. Right, And this was Nintendo's basically new form of gaming. Nintendo is always looking for the next way of gaming. They never adjust to one form of gaming when it comes to giving us experiences to try and change the way we play, right? We can see this with every single console. Um, neither console has had the same exact way of gaming since the Nintendo Super Nintendo where we got a slight different model when it comes to the controller every single console after that nintendo wanted to innovate just a little bit when it comes to the experience of gaming enter the wii era where we first were introduced with that motion controller and the ability to actually stand up and experience the games with our full body we did the full motions when we played bowling and i think that's why the Wii Sports was one of the games on Nintendo Switch because it demanded you to stand up, it demanded you to do the motions, it demanded you to get involved, and that's what Nintendo has been trying to do. With the Wii U, they gave us the ability to play on handheld mode, believe it or not, and sort of like a dock mode because you could take the pad and continue playing within the house. Now, that had a lot of issues attached to it because if you got further away from the console, then you lost connection and you can no longer play that game. So, well, it kind of left you with that option of just playing the game near the console, right? Either on the TV or just near the console, sitting on a couch in the same room because you really couldn't take it all over the house and did not have the freedom. There lies the vision of what became the Nintendo Switch, a hybrid console where you could actually play on handheld mode Take it wherever you want in the world, by the way. You can take it on a plane, play your Nintendo Switch, come back home and dock it and continue playing on the TV. Nintendo did this better than anyone and actually released amazing games because of this. You know, they were no longer 
trying to sell games for a handheld console and an actual console, right? The Nintendo 3D, 3DS, all those were great consoles, but they were irrelevant once the Nintendo Switch came out. Now, it's been almost six years. We are going on to six years that the Nintendo Switch came out. Enter the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck is a handheld gaming computer, okay, developed by Valve Corporation, released in February of this year, of 2022. So it was released in February 25th of 2022 the steam deck can be played as a handheld or connected in a monitor just like the switch uh there's two differences between the nintendo switch and the steam deck is that the steam deck can be connected the nintendo switch could be docked now why enter the steam deck because the steam deck was born out of the necessity of nintendo fans and basically the, the crowd in general wanting to see a more powerful nintendo switch and the imagination of what would that would look like right now is the steam deck a direct competitor to the nintendo switch and the answer my friends is no nintendo and steam deck are not direct competitors though no matter how much we can compare them because they are similar consoles they are both handheld and they are both dockable. Now, the Steam Deck is actually directed at those who are seeking handheld experiences within the gaming PC market, right? It's, they're not they're not really catered. They're not really trying to get Nintendo Switch owners to merge and stuff like that. They're looking for people who actually want to experience PC gaming in a handheld way and also docked way, right? You uh, Normally, we are stuck to our PCs on our monitors, but with the Steam Deck, you can actually experience PC gaming on your actual TV. You do not have to connect a CPU. You don't have to connect a computer system to your TV <laughs> to take it with you. You can't take a, an entire computer with you on a plane, but you can take the Steam Deck with you on a plane because it is PC gaming at, at, at a handheld level. No, it is not as powerful as the PS5. No, it is not as powerful as the Xbox Series X the most comparable um, console to the Steam Deck, well, it's the Nintendo Switch, just because of its factor, just because of the ability to play in handheld mode and also in dock mode. Both consoles are great consoles. Yes, the Steam Deck has more power, but it's because it is a newer console, right? It was released this year with this year's generation, with this year's technology, right? I'm not gonna go into too much when it comes to the cores and the AMD chips and the chipset and all that that stuff but i can tell you that the steam deck does have a more powerful chip more powerful cpu uh, more powerful graphics than the nintendo switch because it has uh, what you might call the current gen graphics when it comes to uh pc gaming right uh not completely as powerful as the most powerful pc but enough to run some of the current gen games and this is a great thing for pc users this is a great thing for those of you who want to take your games on the road this is a great thing for even xbox owners who own game pass because you can actually install game pass on your steam deck to have access to the entire entire library of games on game pass so if you love to play you know handheld mode and you own an xbox then the steam deck is for you now the question is should nintendo users should nintendo fans nintendo uh, switch owners buy a steam deck okay and who should buy a steam deck and who should buy a nintendo switch right so you should buy a nintendo switch if you love mario zelda and their nintendo ips because nintendo is more th about their ips and their games and the, and the experience than the actual console itself so if you would love to experience that then yes that is for you who should buy a steam deck steam deck is 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 a game console it's a handheld console and a dockable console that is catered to pc gamers you know pc gamers that love pc games that would love to take these pc games on the road with them right so if you are a nintendo switch user a nintendo switch fan would love to play games that are available on pc and want to have the same experience that you have on the nintendo switch when it comes to handheld consoles right taking the the the, the console with you on the road and also docking and being able to play on your tv then the steam deck is for you as a fanboy of nintendo would i recommend the steam deck and the answer is 
Sadly, a huge rounded yes. I cave in. I love the Steam Deck. I actually love the fact that it has a little bit more juice into it and gives me access to a broader, uh, you know, library of games. No, I do not use it for emulation. I use it to have access to a broader library of games. For Nintendo games, I use the Nintendo Switch. For everything else, I use the Steam Deck. I can play Spider-Man Remastered on Steam Deck. I can have access to Game Pass on Steam Deck. I have a personal computer because all I own here on my house is Macs. I have a personal computer with Steam Deck. So I highly recommend anybody who wants more access to games. They want a, a bigger library of games they want to experience games that are out there that maybe will never come to the nintendo switch and have the same experience you have with the nintendo switch when it comes to the handheld dock factor so this is part one of fanboy reviews nintendo steam deck versus the nintendo switch next friday get ready for chapter two for part two nintendo fanboy reviews nintendo switch versus steam deck so the steam deck versus nintendo switch is a series that i'm going to continue every single friday from now on and i'm going to bring you everything you need to know about switch and the nintendo steam deck and i'm, and I'm talking about all of the positive things why they are both great consoles why i recommend them both so yeah all right so that is it for this part one of fanboy reviews the steam deck versus the nintendo switch i hope you guys enjoyed it but before i leave you i need to need to give you two more things number one never never ever give up and number two journey on peace we're on a journey looking back on the things that we've taken for granted but feels like we're learning to be better without what's been holding us back now